Hi everybody, welcome back to Yankee Dabbler, where of course every day is a train show. And we did a little market research and we discovered that people only watch the first so much length of the, the videos. 33 you know? seconds. Yeah, so uh, in order to make sure everyone watches and actually sees everything, we're just going to do everything lightning fast. So, buy this, buy this, buy this, buy this, buy this. Generic train joke, what's an engineer's favorite place to eat? The big boy, ha 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 ha. Here's the rail fan video. <laughs> Subscribe to Engineer Hall's channel. Make sure you buy everything from Yankee Dabbler. Generic joke on how to leave, bye. DJ, where, where you going, man? What? Come on, come on, baby. Come on, just come do the show like we regularly do. But I wanna make sure everyone sees everything. We did it. They gotta watch the video to see everything. You know, all the new stuff that came out, you know. All right. The highlight, you know. You're the engineer hall. I'm just yeah. uh, the talent, good looking star, and everything underneath. Hey, how you doing? I agree with you. Some anyway, of that stuff. What go we're ahead. gonna take a look at here is we're gonna take a look at some new things. So hopefully, once again, we'll find the way in your layout. We're gonna start with another close at engineer hall. We're gonna take a look at some Walther cylindrical hoppers. Check these bad boys out. Ooh. Ooh we got here the Canadian National. Look at that one here. I got the TH and B. Mm -hmm. Oh, look at that one. You think that one's full of corn? It gotta be. Oh, yeah. Look at that one. I got another Canadian National happening here. Wheat. And then I have here a CP Rail. Man, we're international because now we get N to M. We got the Podash Corporation. And then finally, we got the Chicago and Northwestern. Now, let's go in for a little closer inspection. These cars always sell really well, these Canadian National here. And I love the detailing on these cars here. These are pretty heavy, too. I don't need to weigh these down. Look, I got metal wheels, Engineer Hall. There you go. You liking this? I like it so far. Well, you know what's really cool about this? Is Tell me. I'm going to close these out. Just like those boxers we looked at the last show, I'm closing these cars out too. So they retail for $34.98. I'm going to sell them for $33.98. Come on. I know you could. Don't make me do this again. I know you could do better than that. All right. $32.98. DJ, you're wasting our time. Uh, $37.98. Okay. How about this? $18.99. Say what? $18.99. $18.99? Right? That's the friends and family discount and anyone that sees it on their website. All right. So these cars right here, nice quality cars here. Die cast metal wheels. I love them. $18.99. You want to know what's also cool? Okay. Come here. I'm going to tell you a little secret. Ready? Multiple road numbers. What? I know I can get a nice long train. Oh my God. You use your train. I know. I don't know why we're spring. So come and get these cars rolling on your layout today. I know you're going to love them. Guess what? I got some new cars for you to check out here from Atlas. I have a 53 foot well car articulated style. Check these out here. I think you're going to like them. So these are my uh, 53 foot articulated well cars. Here I have TTX. Uh, what is this uh, future or phase called, Engineer Hall? Uh, this is the Thinking Forward logo. Thinking Forward as opposed to Thinking Backwards, right? Of course. Wait, do our trains think? Oh, Be that's a show idea. What? Like 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 a a train like a diesel yeah. that like comes back from the future and has to protect Engineer Hall from World War Three at all costs. Oh yeah, we could call it the Traininator. Ooh, oh, this thing writes itself. Stay tuned this summer for that one. But let's take a look at some of the other ones that we have here. We have here the what's that uh, face called? Do you know that one? Oh, the regular TTS. The regular and TTX. And then finally, I have whatever this is. Uh, the DTTX. So uh, there's a lot of letters yeah, happening here. A lot, lot of letters here. Yeah, yeah. but you know what these. These are really nice looking cars here. And if you take a look, look at them for a little closer inspection. Is that etch metal walkways, Engineer yes, Hall? Yes, it's etch metal. Ooh, yeah. I like it does. I have metal wheels too. And if you're looking for things to fill up your well cars, well, Atlas makes a whole bunch of 53-foot containers here. For example, this is the United States Postal Service. Right? Yeah, yeah. UPS. UP. Oh wait, UPS. Oh, okay. Uh, this is the electric magnetic pulsation. No, this is the EMP, the oh. X Pack car. Oh, gotcha. All right, this is the uh, Stub Hub. No, it's the Hub, Hub Union Pacific. Yeah, you get movie tickets to that one. And then finally, oh, it's another EMP. You better watch out for this. No, it's, it's X. Uh, no, pulse, no, right? no, D DJ. What? D look at me. What? Look at look at the label. It says. EMP. No, no. Better no, watch no. out your no, cell no. phones. Anyway, so what's really cool about these is you could stick these in your car here. 
Or, if you have something else, you can stick your favorite train store employee inside of one of those, too. Oh. Yeah, that looks good. That was awesome. Now, you might be thinking what these cars are going for. Well, these cars retail for $129.95, but we're selling them here at Yankee Dabbler for $89.99. So, come to Yankee Dabbler and get some well cars rolling on your railroad today. Of course, you always throw on that engineer hall discount, save a little money. So, I don't know what you're waiting for. Get them today. So, it's time for my favorite car on the train. You don't see them that much anymore, but we got them here. From Athern, we got some cabooses. Let's check out these cars here. And these are really neat cars here because they are LED lit caboose. And actually, some of these have sound as well. So check out the detailing on these cars here. I particularly like these Union Pacifics. If we go over here and check out the Union Pacifics, you can see I have the various different lighting, marker light features over here. Check out this SPSF. If you notice, I have the end trailing light here. It might not necessarily look it because our store is a little bright, but the lights are on, I guarantee it. These are just really nice looking cars here. Engineer Hall, check out the Burlington route. I don't know if you can see the, the LED light there. Mm -hmm. I mean, that looks so cool. These are really neat cars here, and it got a couple bay windows down there for the Chessie and the Baltimore and Ohio. Now, these cars here, they come in LED lights or sound or both so for example if you come over here check out the bnl i have this one in sound or led light these bnl uh, i'm sorry these uh ying and pacifics the safety message ones i just have an led lights and i actually have two more here i have here the you deserve it let's observe it safety mm -hmm. and ooh, red hot and rolling oh spicy. Uh, spicy so i just have those in leds but the SPSF, the Santa Fe, the Burlington Route, and the uh, Chessie, I had them in both. Uh, I had those in just sound, okay? So, they look great, but I'm going to tell you something that's going to make you really want these things to price. Are you ready, Engineer Hall? Make me want to have them. Okay, so you ready? So, just the ones with the lights retail for $109.98. We're selling them here at Yankee Dabbler for $55.99. What? Exactly. $55.99 for a caboose with LED lights. That's the best deal in town. You're not you're doing any better than that. And the ones with sounds. Are you ready? Tell me. One forty nine ninety eight. We're selling here. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Let me take guess. Let okay. me take guess. Okay. Forty dollars. No, we're selling here in Yankee Dabbler for seventy five ninety nine. Okay, okay. Except okay. for the uh, sound and LED lighting, sound and, LED and I got to put no work in it. Exactly. That's the deal. So I got uh, LED lights. I got tsunami sound on them. You know what? Let's check out one of these cars and see what it sounds like because I think it's probably something. I know we have a look at the sound caboose before in the show, so I think you're going to enjoy seeing them. I got that Santa Fe on the track, but I want to show you something. Come over here. Look. I have these trains on the dead track. The capacitor, they've been on the track for about a minute. The capacitor is still lighting those cars up. Yeah, we've been waiting for a while. That's, <laughs> That's crazy. Cool. So let's check out the Santa Fe and uh, get it fired up. All right, so that's probably uh, the electrical components that are happening in there. Let's take a listen to the bell. There's a bell on there, Engineer Hall. I hear it. Wow. How about the horn? <laughs> I must say it sounds very accurate because on our caboose, our shopping platform we have, where I work at, it sounds just like that. That is pretty awesome here. And what's really neat about it, too, is if I change direction, the trailing light changes. So as you can see, that one's on right now. Mm -hmm. I got to change direction, and it turns off. Now that one's on. So that is pretty cool here. Now, I don't understand. I keep trying to make it move. I keep moving the throttle. Nothing happens. So I don't understand that. Oh, wait a minute. Wait. <laughs> so there's actually, like, rail sounds in there. That's pretty cool. I wasn't expecting that. So these are just really cool looking cars here. I love my cabooses here. I think this one is a home run and I think that price is definitely worth it. So if you're looking for a couple cabooses to put on your layout, I mean, you could basically buy two of them for the price of one. I don't know what you're waiting for. Come get these cars today because I think they're really cool looking. Hit the horn real quick. I want to hear it. Okay. Hit it. Ready? Yeah. Ooh. Hit the bell. Hit the bell. Hit the bell. I want one. All right, for our end scalers, we have a brand new diesel locomotive that we're going to take a look at. We got the RS2s. And look, I looked them up online. Um, No. I think I might have made a mistake. Yeah, you mistyped. R... Hmm. Anyway, R2, right? 
That's yeah. what it is. These are R2s. Right anyway, let's check out these RS2s here from Atlas. Now, these are DCC engines. No sound, but they look great. I have here the main central. I have probably my favorite group, which is the Lehigh Valley. I have here the Canadian Pacific, the Chicago, and Northwestern. Another striking paint scheme is that Union Pacific, and then we're going to conclude with the Southern. Now, these are really neat-looking locomotives here. You know, a lot of times when you see uh, RS units made, you always see an RS3, but it's kind of neat to have a little different RS unit, an RS2. Uh, they are very nice locomotives here. Again, no sound, just DC, but or DCC, rather. But I think they're pretty nice looking, especially for you end scalers that might be looking for a nice diesel to operate on your layout. I think this might fit the bill. So, Engineer Hall, which one would you like to run? Uh, I would like to run the Southern. The Southern? All right. So, let's get that Lehigh Valley on the rails and up and running. So, I went to Lehigh Valley, Engineer Hall, one of the Southern. So, we compromised and we got the UP on the track. So, now no one's happy. Well, I guess UP fans are. At least somebody happy. In this yeah. relationship. <laughs> All right, so which I'm gonna go forward. Which way do you think it's gonna go? Long hood or short hood? Let's see. Look, we gotta find the F one. You see the F? Oh uh, no! You see the F? I, I, I see it. I, I'm gonna say it's gonna go long hood. Are you ready? I'm ready. See All what right, happens. Here go we go. Ah, okay. Short hood forward. There we go. Reverse it. Nice. It's a good runner. It runs really smoothly. That's what you want. Inscale came a long way. Yeah. All right. Let's go forward again. I found a secret button that has some special sound effects for this engine, Engineer Hall. Oh, really? Hit the yep. button. All right. Here we go. I thought it was a secret button. Secret button. Yeah. Okay. So these are really nice diesel locomotives, and you're probably wondering how much they are. And if I had my paper here, I would tell you. Where is it? Ah, here it is. I guess they did have it. So the retail value of these engines are $169.95, but we're selling here at Yankee Dabber for $109.99. So you got a really nice diesel locomotive here at a really economical price. DCC. It looks great. I think you need to have this. And if you throw in a couple bucks... I'll throw in the secret sounds. Yeah, so I mean, just imagine. Oh yeah, gotta get some R2D2s on your track. So I like those RS2s and Anskias so much, I thought I'd show some RS3s in HL. We got some Bowser diesel locomotives here. Now we looked at the RS3 units that they've done in the past, but this is their new wave. And I have a couple of really cool paint schemes here. This Pennsylvania looks pretty awesome here. I love the keystones that are on that. There's actually like one too many keystones on this engine, which I think looks really cool. Now I got a couple other ones here. It's still in the box here. I got the North, uh, Western of Maryland with the Fireball logo. I got the nickel plate road, they call that the simple paint scheme. And then I have here the Norfolk and Western. Now, if you notice, Bowser does a really good job kind of specializing these engines for the specific road name. So no two of these engines really look the same. The horns are in different places. The bells are in different places. Uh, I just think it's really neat that they do a lot of that customization. And I have this uh, Pennsylvania Railroad on the track here that we're going to get fired up. We're going to see what this Alco sounds like. So let's play our game again here. So I got this on the rails here. Engineer Hall, which way do you think it's going to go? Long hood or short hood forward? Oh, man, I got to find the F. Oh, I don't know. You tell me. All right. I'm going to say, since I was wrong in the other one, I'm still going to say long hood. So all aboard.
sounds pretty good. I love those out outdoor sounds. Alright, let's get a, a little more thing happening here. For a high ball? Let's do it. Now arriving. Something very noisy. That's a really cool diesel locomotive here. I love those Alco sounds. It always feels like it's just about to like explode because it's working so hard. Now the retail value of these engines is three hundred nine ninety five. What we're selling here at Yankee Dabbler for two nineteen ninety nine. So it's a great deal to get on these engines. As I said, you can throw on that engineer hall discount. We got a lot of savings on the show. You know, I'm not just saying this because I work here. I think a lot of these deals are actually really, really good. So if you're looking for something, uh, you know, your cabooses, your hoppers, your diesel locomotives, come to Yankee Dabbler and get some of these things in your layout today because I know you're really going to enjoy them. Time for us to do our recap of everything we saw on today's show here, and it was a good one. Now, check out all these different things. We have these uh, Monday night closeouts. Again, you have to go in the Monday night closeout section of our um, uh, website in order to get these cars here. So, if you see the cylindrical hoppers with the letter C next to it, that's the closeout. So, make sure you check those out here. We had here from after and these awesome looking cabooses here in the LED versions, or I have sounds. Some of them have both. I'm gonna grab one of the uh, the light ones. Looks pretty cool. I think they look awesome. I had here from Atlas these wild cars here, and of course over here I have a whole bunch of different containers. I have a couple different variations of that. I had here from Atlas again. We had these RS2s in the N scale, make our N scalers happy. And then Bowser, we had these RS3s right here. They look good. They sound good. I mean. I like a lot of the things that we saw on today's show. But, of course, if you're looking for something that we didn't see, we'll always go on our website, yankeedapo.com. It's like what you're looking for in the search bar so we can get it shipped to you and you have hours of railroading fun. And guess what, Engineer Hall? I thought it was something really cool to do. Talk to me. What you got? How about you subscribe to Engineer Hall's channel? That is a it's great a idea. Great I know. What? If Why not? If you are not subscribed to Engineer Hall's channel, make sure you click that subscribe button so you get caught up on everything that we got. As a matter of fact, we're going to have a new segment on the show because guess what? I'm going to be moving into a new place. And you know what that means, Engineer Hall. Hold on. Let me get in. All right. What's that, what's that, what's that going to mean? So what, what does that mean? Ready? Ready? What do we got? Right? What do we got? New layout. Ah! All right, so maybe throughout uh, the next couple months, I'll update everyone on the progress, okay? Look on your YouTube channel? No, but you know what's really cool here is that I'm actually taking some ideas from some of the people that work here. So guess what? Christian gave me an idea for the layout design. Um, 
So I think I could do better. What do you think? You know what? It's uh, room for improvement. Yes. So he needs to work on his R's. But anyway, so that's going to be a new thing that we're going to be looking forward to. So I'm excited to uh, update the progress. All right. We're going to conclude with our rail fan video. We're going to go to Phillipsburg, New Jersey. We're going to take a look at the Delaware River excursions up there in Phillipsburg, New Jersey. They have a really neat operation happening up there. They actually have a Chinese-made uh, Mikado that I'm actually older than. I can say I'm older than a steam engine, which is pretty crazy. But this video has a, R, uh, a GP unit, rather, pulling a nice excursion train. So I hope you enjoy it. Now, if you excuse me while you enjoy that video here, i got to log this uh Layout idea from Christian in a very special... That's not interesting. Yeah, I, I have a special file you for do? this. Yep. You gotta be kidding me. Circle. No, you didn't. Why are you doing like that?